What's up, everybody? It's your favorite social media bush lord again, Krauser's here, coming with another mail call video. Obviously, this one's being done a little bit earlier because I highly doubt I'm getting anything today in the mail, so might as well get this done, get this out of the way for you folks. And so let us begin with the thing on top of the stack. Okay, so you can see the Switch games were on the bottom. We're going to start with a nice purple thing here. Now, if you know this packaging right here, you know who this came from. And the item in here is going to be self explanatory. It is one of the very few left Vita cases that you can have gotten from Limited Run Games. Because they are not going to reprint these since, you know, the Vita is no longer a support console by Sony. Well, it wasn't after the first year, anyways, but for killing support in general, before, where you can't even get carts. So, any carts that are left are all those companies are getting. But yeah, so now I have three of these cases two purple and one blue. Oh yeah, I'm styling, folks. Now let's move to this box here. And you probably can see the games right there, but we'll get to those eventually. And this box, something I went to a store for, this wasn't in the mail, is the Boba Fett Animated Series pot figure. It is a Funko Insider Club exclusive, so this means only GameStop gets them. And, yeah. I had it reserved for a bit. I actually never saw the animated show, or I probably saw like an episode or two when I was little and just can't remember it. But nice design, nice detail. I, I'm, I'm trying to hold back on buying a lot of pops. I want to get like actual figures and stuff like that before people say like, well, pops are actual figures. There's their own category in my opinion. So I want to consider them like high quality per se. I mean, there's value there because people... Always try to charge an arm and link for him. Anyways, I went to the games. This I picked up the same place I got the Funko, which was GameStop. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. This may surprise you folks. I have never played a Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. And on the inside, we got some nice actual internal art. Just Infinity Stones, obviously. The game being right there. I will hopefully be able to play with other Switch Corps members. And I know there's DLC in the Season Pass, obviously, which gives you the new characters, I know Cyclops and I think Colossus are going to be free in an update, and then all the rest are going to be, you know, DLC, but I'll get those when I get there. So yep, we got the Black Order and Thanos, we're going to try to stop them. So let's see how who I can stop them, what kind of crazy team I can assemble. Next we got the Banner Saga Trilogy. Now, as you see, I reopened these. Disappointing, I heard disappoint because uh, no turn of art. There's the game right there. I've never played this game either. Viking RPG. So it's all three games. So I I don't have to start from ground. You know, like one and then the second one. They're all on here. I know it says internet download and micro SD required because I I was reading the third one requires a four gigabyte patch. Which is, we, you know. But, I mean, at least the games themselves are on the cart, but the patch may, you know, hinder some things, I guess, if you don't download it. But hopefully I get a good enjoyment out of the three games on here. Now, another surprise for people that don't know me is, yes, I did get this game. I did get Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. It was on sale. And it comes to Season Pass, I put that to the side so no one can steal the code. Yes, I never played a No More Heroes game. You know, it was one of those, you know, like, under-the-radar games when it came out. They came out originally. And I know everyone's hoping to do the sales of this game. That Suda51 of Grasshopper will bring the f first two to the Switch. So we could play them again on newer consoles. And the new generation can enjoy them. Now, I know this one's a little bit different, probably. Slightly, but you know, it's. <laughs> but the good thing about this game is it has internal cover art. Where is that for all the big companies? Hmm? Hmm? I'm not saying Grasshopper is not big, but you know, I'm talking about like the big companies. You got the game right here. You got all that nice cover art. And internal cover, man. They did well with that. That's all I'm going to say. All these three games, I've never played a previous iteration of it, or it's, you know, the trilogy, you know, 
they're all three on there. So all in all, not as big as the last mail call video, but, uh, you know, it's a nice, nice stuff to get this week. I don't think I have anything, you know, like planned to come in the mail next week unless Limited Games ships anything out. And so there may not be a mail call video next week, folks. I'm just going to put that out there, unfortunately. Because, you know, it's how it is sometimes. I do apologize if the rotation the screen happens. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. But yeah, thanks to everybody for watching this video. Again, there may not be a video next week. Uh, but keep an eye on for next week because I will have my giveaway stream planned for the 24th at 7 p.m. And that's when that's going to be. And have a good one, everybody. Catch you later.